As Nigerian workers mark May Day with parades, issues of welfare, remuneration and working conditions have again been brought to the fore by labor leaders. Plus TV News captured the commemoration of the day across states. The report. It is a yearly ritual to celebrate workers all over the world. But over the years, the Nigerian worker have had reasons to agitate rather than celebrate. In Kano, work is thrown to the venue of parade with demands bordering on improved remuneration, reduction in inflation and rising cost of living and also prompt payment pension. The outgoing governor has already done so much for the workers and uh, I'm expecting that the coming in administration will do much better too. Workers are not happy and what they are having is not even enough as a take home due to the expenses of everything and you, you find out that most of the workers working in the government, their main salary which was proposed to be the minimum wage, they had a lot of uh, money deductions. The governor promised his administration's resolve to continually pay attention to the plight of workers. I take pride to mention that throughout the tenure of my administration, I have done everything possible within the limit of available governmental fiscal and financial resources to give whatever is due to the labor. Over 32 unions converge at the Amadou Bailey Stadium, taking delight in the yearly march past. The state in the past eight years have a history of uh, disengagement of a uh, high number of workers. That has really saddened us, but we are not discouraged. We want to believe the new administration, more especially the governor-elect, we take this seriously, doing justice. All the are calling on the incoming government, more especially Bosani. He should not emulate what Erufai did. Erufai is ours. We are the ones that elect him. But he did wrong to our workers in Kaduna State. I don't want the incoming governor to emulate. Likewise, the president elect. The demands were the same. However, they rejected the removal of old subsidy by the federal government and the revival of industries and refineries. Workers lamented the current hardship in the country. They urged the incoming government of Bola Ahmed Tinubu to make workers friendly policies. Seed grant to small and medium enterprises in Bios State. Through the scheme, no fewer 120 small scale businesses and enterprises from each of the 105 wards in the co government areas of our state have been empowered monthly. The major concern for workers in the Federal Capital Territory is the review of the retirement age for all public servants from 60 years to 65 and from 35 years of service to 40 years. The president of NLC, Comrade Joe Jaro, said poor wages, abuse of workplace rights and privileges, as well as unpaid salaries, strip workers of their rights. The dynamics of workers' rights shape the character and quality of life within the socioeconomic framework. Workers' welfare is central to the achievements of socioeconomic justice, which is key to national global sustainability, the realization and without crafting a more responsible and creative way of organizing production and distribution of global resources that we may be embarking upon a collective journey to do, a collective race to bottom led to the core fairy thing of the existing economic world order. This year's May Day will be the last to be held under President Mohamed Buhari's led administration. At the event where the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, the Minister of Labor and Employment, Chris Ingege, among others. We are clearly the fact that many Nigerian workers continue to face significant challenges, which includes low take home pay, lack of job security, or satisfactory working conditions, to name a few. 
Comrade, we are committed as a government to addressing these issues that we have been addressing them and trying to create a more favorable environment for you. Workers' rights, coupled with social economic justice, make a happy workplace. We therefore agree that a fair economic structure targeted at creating opportunities for all to succeed, irrespective of sex, race, ethnicity, age, disability, creed, religion, etc., is a cycle norm for progress and development. As the clock ticks to the inauguration of a new central government, all eyes will be on the response to all the demands tabled by the workers. Time, they say, will tell. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.